my middle school coach told me I was never good enough to play. So I kind of quit um, halfway through eighth grade year and then kind of picked back up my freshman year of high school. After being told no, junior kicker Brent Samaglia didn't let that stop him from pursuing his goal of playing football. Instead, three things kept him going. His faith, family, and friendships on the field. My brother was the kicker at the high school, which was like literally a five minute walk down from the middle school. And kind of just, you know, seeing him play on Friday nights and, you know, seeing him reach his goals and, and you know, trying to go to college and then to the next level. It's kind of like, you know, inspiration to see him work hard. And I was like, you know what, I don't need to give up. I would just talk to him, you know, most nights after his practices and just be like, you know, how do I follow your path? It was just like, you know, don't give up, just follow God's path. And, and you know, if somebody says you can't, just try harder. Another one of my biggest inspirations is my dad. And, you know, he's just nonstop, you know always in my ear, like not bad, but just like, you know, keep doing this, do that. And it's just him that like kind of keeps me going too, you know, because he had a heart attack two years ago and I just didn't see him give up and seeing him fight through that kind of makes me push through, you know, the adversity and all the ups and downs. Family is one of the most important things to Samaglia. Seeing his brother and dad not give up in their goals is why he's known to be one of the hardest workers on the team. Samaglia to try a 51-yard field goal. This would tie his career high. Waiting for the snap. There it is. The kick on the way. It's spinning to the uprights. And the kick is good. Samaglia just made it over the crossbar. Ties his career high and gives Tennessee a 10-3 lead. I want to be a leader, you know, that is like always working nonstop, you know, even like if it's a day we're not kicking, you know, I'm doing form work or I'm just nonstop working. So I just want people, you know, that like when they see me, they're like, all right, this guy's a hard worker and he's going to get the job done. One thing he's always working on is getting his mind right before practice and games. Walk me through your process when you're about to come out and kick a field goal. Um, I mean, it's kind of the same for every, you know, extra point or field goal. It's kind of, you know, I'll look in the background, I'll kind of find a target, you know, throw the ball to and my extension to, and I'll take three back and two to the left, and I'll kind of, you know, look down at my feet, plant them, and then I'll look back at my target just to, like, you know, make sure it's still there. And I'll take, you know, a good breath in, out, and then I'll look down, I'll give my holder a, a good nod, and then it's good, it's good to go. How important is that trust for you guys to have for one another? I mean, these two are like my brothers. You know, I live with them, and... And I mean, trust to me is a big thing and they have all of it, so. Riley, you know, snaps such a fast ball and Joe gets it down so quick and, you know, we have our op time, you know, on, on dial, so. You no, know, we're never worried about it getting blocked or anything. And that guy's, you know, too good at blocking, so I know nothing up the middle is gonna, gonna happen, so. Because of their tight friendship and the specialist group, their trust goes beyond the football field. Outside of football, you know, we're like brothers, you know, we goof around, we do everything together, but, you know, we know that when it's football, it's serious. And, you know, if one of us messes up, we'll get on each other. But, um, I mean, when you have a group of, you know, nine guys, you ha kind of have to be close, but all, all of them are my brothers. You know, I'll do anything I have to do for them. Along with his family and teammates, Samaglia's faith in God is what gives him confidence when he steps out on the field. I step out on the field and I play for an audience of one because, you know, without him, I wouldn't be on the field. Um, so I'm kind of, you know, just glorifying him and praising him on the field every chance I can and, and just know that everything I do is for him and through him. For The Jeremy Pruitt Show, I'm Casey Funderburg.